One family's journey for justice at a standstill in more than a 20 year old cold case in Halifax County. Last year, Lewis Turner Jr. was killed, was charged with killing this woman, Cheryl Taylor, in her home back in 2002. WRL's Heidi Kirk spent hours in Halifax County Superior Court awaiting the next steps in this case. And today, that family is celebrating a small win, but they say there's more to be done. <laughs> There were no cameras allowed in the courtroom today, but I sat front row to report this story. For the first time, Justice Osby spoke in front of the court and in front of the man who's charged with killing her mother. Now, as we walked out of the Halifax County Courthouse today, she calls it a small success that the judge denied the request to lower the suspect's bond. But there's still no word on whether this case will go to trial. Yeah. Justice yeah. Osby walks into Halifax County Superior Court. It's Osby's 10th visit here in just six months. She spent several days going in and out of the courthouse, waiting for movement in her mother's 2002 murder case. We've been waiting long enough. 21 years is long enough. Osby was just seven years old when she found the body of her mother, Cheryl Taylor, dead in her bed. Last year, a family friend, Lewis Turner Jr., was charged with Taylor's murder. Even though the case is old, she still was a mother, a daughter, a sister, a cousin. She was somebody to all of us. Every time Osby sees Turner's name on the agenda, she arrives in court hoping for answers. She's left several times without them because of a slow moving court system and continuances granted. It leaves Osby with a lot of questions for the district attorney's office that she says don't get answered. They tell me that they're very busy and they have a lot of other cases, which I do understand that, but please show me that this case means something to you. WRAL clock 19 hours, sitting next to Osby and her family in court. We got to know them, from her son to her aunt to her cousin, all shifting their schedules to attend court in Halifax County. I have family members that's driving three hours away today because there's a family. As Osby and her family leave the courthouse yet again, they're hoping for a trial and soon. Are you worried that you're going to get to next July and there's not going to be a resolution? Right, because it seems like it's getting closer and closer and I haven't got any answers. Both Turner's lawyer and Osby expressed in court today that they would like to see this case go to trial, but there's still a plea deal on the table. Heidi Kirk, WRL News, Halifax County. Hmm.